Now, this is it. Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain, or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Or something like that. What is happening guys, my name is Adam, I am a super swan, and welcome to a huge episode of Saving Swans, episode 44, and we have got a huge double bill with Barcelona in the second leg of the Champions League, followed by an FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United at Wembley. Huge games coming up for the season, and in the only game you missed, we lost to my United in the dress rehearsal 3-2. They scored in the 90th minute. If I'm being honest with you, they were the better team, although they were at home, kind of to be expected. But it was a bit of a sucker punch of the score. But like I say, dress rehearsal. Looking at the Premier League, we're five points clear of Spurs now with four games to go. So as long as we don't lose too many games coming up in the league... We should be odds on for a Champions League place. I don't think we're going to get third. I think fourth is more than likely coming up. But we do have Barcelona first of all. And we take a 2-1 lead going into the new Camp. So we've just got to be careful to not concede too many goals. So this is going to be the lineup, And it's going to be Timo Horn in goal. Montoya, Rodrigo Caio, Lascelles, Rika at the back. Lorente is a DM. Marco Rog, Almiro in the middle. Lucas on the right. Harit on the left. Milic up front. I am debating going defensive. But we're going to stay on counter for now. And as the game evolves... I am going to put on highly structured. As the game evolves, we might go into defensive. So if we win this game, we go into the semi-finals of the Champions League. I feel as if a, a big team talk is needed here. A passionate... I know we're underdogs here, but go on out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. No, I'm, okay. I'm going to say the bottom one. The media have been on your backs for ages now. This is your chance to go out to them, to stick it to them and prove them wrong. And I've just stressed them out even more. That didn't go as well as I thought it would. Okay, let's ignore that. Let's get on with the game. We take a 2-1 lead. If we can grab an away goal, that'll be a huge... Why does this always reset? There we go. That'll be a huge advantage going into this game. I'm going to throw out a calm down. Just to calm the players down a bit. Because Milic and Rodrigo Caio are looking very nervous. But we haven't had any highlights so far. I spoke too soon. Piaka with the ball. Oh, he's gone down. Amiro's already bucked. Oh no, this is a red card already. We're down to 10 men in the half an hour mark of the game. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Harit, move into the middle. Lucas, can you play attack in midfield? I don't think you can. Can you play in the middle maybe? No, not really. I don't want to bench our best player either. Can you play up front? No. Oh, this isn't good, guys. This isn't good. We're going to have to move Harit back into centre midfield. Make him an advanced playmaker. We're going to keep Lucas on the wing. It's unorthodox, but we're going to do it. But we are down to 10 men. And this is not what we wanted. Going into the second leg. So I'm definitely going to be finding Almiron. Because he shouldn't be getting sent off in a big game like this. But Harit's on the ball. It's a nice ball over to Rika. Is he going to get it? He is going to get it. Crosses it in. It's a low cross. Oh, it's parried by to Stegen. Oh my days. This isn't good. But we've gone into half-time not conceding. If we can go another half without conceding. Do we need to make subs? Do we? Who? Anybody underperforming? 
6.5 by Marco Rog. I'm going to bring Harit off because he isn't an advanced playmaker. We're going to bring on Correa. He's a better advanced playmaker. That's all I'm going to do for now. I think we just got to hold it out. We're going to go to 70 minutes and go defensive. Because as, as much as I think we got... Oh, they've gone 4-3-3. Three, three. They've gone 4-3-3 three, three now. They're really going for it. And if they score, they go through and away goals. So Maido on that right-hand side. Crosses it in. Piaka with a header. It's a looping header. And they get the goal. And I think the sending off is a huge factor of this game. Suarez finds Samedo on that right-hand side. He's not on his own there. Rika didn't really close him down. It's a nice cross. Packer with a brilliant header. It's a nice looping header. Okay. We're going to have to go for it now. We're going to have to go for it. We're going to keep Milic up front. We're going to put a career as an attack in mid. I'm sorry, Lucas, but we're bringing on Nathan Evans. We're going to bring him on as a poacher. We're going to go attacking. We're going to keep it on structured. We're going to... Because we're going out otherwise. We're going to have to bring the game to Barca. I'm going to encourage the team. Because if we can grab an away goal, that'll be huge. Correa on that right-hand side. Crosses it in. PK clears. We just got to try and withstand the pressure, though. That's the only thing. They're going to hit us on the counter-attack. Messi's on goal. It's the crossbar. That's a warning sign. But we're going to have to go for it. We have to. Because we go out if it stays the same. If we score, though, Barca have to score again to take it to extra time. So one goal is all we need. And we have a chance. Montoya. Correa. Back to Montoya. So a long ball up to Evans on that right hand side. Oh, he's tackled though by Tierney. He is a good defender. Kieran. I think it's is it Kieran Tierney. I don't know. Piaka. Suarez is one on one. It's 2 0 to Barca. But that's fine. It doesn't change the fact that we need a goal. It does not change the fact that we need a goal. But Tierney. Finds Piaka. It's a lovely ball over to Messi. He finds Suarez. He's one on one and he ain't going to miss them chances. But the red card is such a huge factor in this game. I'm really disappointed. We haven't had a shot on target yet. I'm going to tell him to push forward. Do we still need a goal? It doesn't change the fact that we need a goal. Because if we, if we can score, it takes it to extra time. And then we have a chance to take it to penalties. But Fabinho, it's the post. That's a brilliant tackle. And Captavia puts it in. Or yeah, it's Captavia. And that's game over. We we had to go attack. We didn't really have a chance. They've hit us on the counter-attack each time. And the, the sending off has made such a huge difference. But Milic, can we grab a goal, maybe? Because that'll make such a difference. Suarez. Rika wins the ball back, though. Evans. Correa's on goal. Correa's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Correa. That was horrible. That was absolutely horrible. We'll have a look at the tactics. And the game kind of got taken away from us, really. Is there anybody underperforming? Rika on a 6.3. We'll bring target on. But I think this is it for Champions League, guys. And Almiron getting sent off was the was the deciding factor. It was the deciding factor. We lost the man. And Barca just smashed us 3-0 at home. At their home, I should say. I can't say it's undeserved. Because, I mean, the, but I'm just really disappointed. Because the sending off completely changed this game. Oh, Target makes an error, and Suarez makes it 4-0. We're making easy mistakes. And, I mean, the game was away from us. I mean, we are on attacking, so that we are open to the counter-attack. But, we might as well put it back to standard now. It doesn't make a difference. Barca have kind of deserved it. 
But if only Almiron had not got sent off. If he had not got sent off, we it would have been a different game. And it came back and cost us. So I think we're just waiting for the game to finish now. And I think our Champions League dream is over. So made it with a cross. Timo Horn catches the ball. And we are just waiting now for the full-time whistle. It's still all going. And there's the final whistle. Barcelona win 4-0 at home. They win 5-2 on aggregate. It was a disappointing performance. But I'm Almiron. Almiron, the 33rd minute, changed the game. Absolutely changed the game. I'm going to find him two weeks wages. I know you say it's unfair. But you cost us the game, Armiron. You absolutely cost us the game. And now our... Ch but we shouldn't get too upset. Because we got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We were only expected to reach the group stage. Which we did anyway. But to get to the quarterfinals and to beat Barcelona at home is an achievement on its own. So, well done, boys. It wasn't to be, but Miguel Almiron, you cost us this chai. This You cost us this tie. We could have got through if it wasn't for Miguel Almiron. But we need to pick ourselves up, boys. We've got Man United in five days' time in the, in the FA Cup semi-finals. If we can get past them, we've got a, champ, a championship team in the final. So, let's get on the Man United game, guys. Let's pick our heads up. And get our heads in the game for a potential FA Cup final. So this is the lineup for the FA Cup semi-final. We're going to go all in. We're going attacking. It is neutral. So we're not at Old Trafford. We're not at the Liberty. We're going all in. Timo Horn, Montoya, Rodrigo, Kyle, Sells, Rica. Usuals at the back. Mesa Llorente in the middle. I've dropped Armiro on after that red card in the Champions League. He's not happy about being fined two weeks wages. And he's dropped from the FA Cup semi-final. Lucas on the right, Sancho on the left, Correa in the middle, and Milic up front. We can always switch back to a DM position if we keep Lorente in the team anyway. So we can always switch it up, depending on how the game is going. So they're obviously going attacking as well, that's fine. Do it for the fans, who's the one that gains confidence? Rocky Mesa, the captain. So come on guys, let's get over this disappointment. If we can get ourselves in the final, we have a fantastic opportunity to win a trophy this season. It is Man United though. They are one of the best teams in this league. Well, they are top of the league. So keeping an eye on possession. And it does, does look like Man United is dominating possession. So I might switch it to counter. Just to see if we can maybe absorb the pressure a little bit better. I try control thinking if we might be able to retain the possession. But it doesn't look like that's the way this is going. Martial. Oh, but Timo Horn with a save. Correa, that's a poor ball, and my United win the ball back. This is exactly how it was like in the league game. We were giving the ball away, and they were on the break. Icardi's one-on-one, -on -one, but Timo Horn with the save. Pogba outside the box, Icardi, Carrasco, and Timo Horn once again making the save. And looking at the stats, it's all Manchester United in the first 15 minutes of this game. And this is, I think we may have to resort to defensive counter-attacking football. We may need to drop a DM in there just to sort of try and retain the possession a little bit better. So yeah, half an hour in. We're going to drop to DM. Swap Correa and Lorente around. We'll see if that makes any changes. We'll see if that helps us at all. Carrasco wins the header against Rika. Icardi finds Ozil. And it's 1-0 to Man United. That is even before we make the changes. Not the ideal. I was hoping we could make the change. And then try and sort of close them down a bit. But Rika loses the header to Carrasco. Icardi finds Ozil. And it's an easy finish for him. He's got the space. I'm, yes, I do want to proceed with the changes. But we might have to go even more attacking now. Because I was hoping to try and close the gap. But Man United are a really good team. They are. It's. Like I say. This is very similar to the league game we played off camera. They were all over us. They had all the possession. They had all the shots. 
We were lucky to get two goals that day. I think we're going to be lucky to get two goals today. I'm going to give a passionate... Show them what you're all about in the second half. As far as tactics go, I think we're going to keep... Oh, Millic is having a howler of a game. Nathan Evans, son, the 16-year-old. Make yourself famous, kid. Make yourself famous. If we can grab a goal in the second half. There's all we need is one goal right now. I'm going to encourage the team. Or concentrate. I've thrown a concentrate out to the team. I wanted to do encourage, but I pressed the wrong one. But Rico the throw in. Lorente. Finds Correa. Rocky Mesa now. Can we find any gaps? No, we're tackled. And Icardi's going to break. And this is very much like the league game we played off camera. Where we lost 3-2 in the 90th minute. I, we played better in that game. We were defensive all that game. And we scored two goals. I, I can't see a goal. If I'm being honest with you. After that Champions League game as well. Evans. Rocky Mesa. Why do the goal... I want to encourage the team. We can make two more subs. Nathan Evans has played well since he's come on. We're gonna. We can't really sub ourselves off. He's having a howler, but we can't really sub him off. Um, who can we? Re we'll bring on. We'll bring Harit on for Sancho. We'll put him on attack. See if we can try and grab something from this game. We've only had one shot on target all game. And nobody's marking a Wobi on that right hand side. And Carrasco with a free header. And we're making too many mistakes. But for the last 10 minutes, I don't think we have a choice here, guys. We do not have a choice. We're going to go attacking. We're going to throw everyone up front. Got one more sub, but I don't really feel the need to make it at the moment. We're going to chuck everyone forward. And De Gea with the goal kick. Pogba wins the header. Which has given the ball away way too easily. I mean, they've given the ball away three times in this highlight alone. Just keep the ball, boys. Lorente, Rocky Mesa. Again, giving the ball away. Pogba, Adrian Silva. Although, to be fair, they're giving the ball away as well. But every, but how many times in this highlight have we just given the ball to Man United? It will be. Pass across goal to Ozil, and he makes it 2-0. And once again, going attacking gets us to concede a goal. And I think that is our competition dreams over. Out of the Champions League, out of the FA Cup. And to be honest with you, we did. it was a tall effort. We had Barcelona and Man United. Don't get me wrong, we are a top four team. But there is such a gulf in class between us and these two teams. I mean, look at the stats on that right-hand side. There. Man United have had 25 shots, 12 on target. Five clear-cut chances. They deserve this win. But Nathan Evans, Lorente, it's a nice chip ball over to Lucas. Tries to cross at Rocky Mesa, but it's intercepted. And I think now, and again, Man United come at us. We've chucked all the men forward. We've got nobody back. And Ozil grabs a hat-trick. 3-0 Man United. There's no point going attacking now. Or we might as well go back to standard. And our, we've just had two hammerings from Barcelona and Man United. This was what it was like in the first game. We, well, this was what it was like in the game off camera. We did score two goals off camera, though. We just haven't scored two goals today. And Man United are going to go on to the FA Cup final and probably win it. And I'm going to give uh, an aggressive, I'm far from pleased. We should, we've, we didn't play at all good and we've lost 3-0. Powerless to resist as Man United dominate. That is probably an accurate title. And of course Mourinho is rubbing it in my face. So I think, guys, so as far as competitions go, we look at the schedule. Three losses in a row, two to Man United, one to Barcelona. 
We've only got two games. Well, we've got four games of the Premier League left of the season. We need to concentrate. Spurs lost their game as well against Bournemouth, I believe. So, Champions League is still within our reach. I mean, we need to reach Champions League. Because I think we need to, uh, next season we need to try and get some quality players into this team. So, it wasn't meant to be, guys, this episode. But we're going to have the last game of the season. Well, the last episode of the season against Tottenham and Middlesbrough. Spurs is a big game. We need to win that game just to secure Champions League. And we'll have Middlesbrough as the last game of the season. So please leave a thumbs up, guys. It's been a disappointing episode today, but we're going to try and build ourselves for next season. Subscribe to the channel for more Saving Swans. We upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 4 p.m. GMT for the Saving Swans series. And drop me a tweet on Twitter, at SuperSwanYT, of how you felt the season has gone overall. I'll see you next time for the end of season against Tottenham and Middlesbrough. Thank you very much for watching.